Hello, so today I'll be showing what's in my doc. So the first application is Finder, which is a standard application on all Macs. Uh, next up would be Safari. So this is the default um, like search browser, internet browser that comes with the Mac. Second is Google Chrome. And the reason I use Google Chrome is because of all of the additional add-ons. So if I would open a new tab, you would see here that I have like Gmail offline, Angry Birds. There's a lot of applications and extensions. For example, Calculator, AdBlock, turn on AdBlock, okay, AdBlock, Wolfram Alpha, etc. Uh, second up is Mail, the default Mail app from Apple. Then it's Dictionary, which is just simply the default Dictionary app. There's a Dictionary, Thesaurus, Apple Dictionary and Wikipedia. Uh, next up is Pages from iWorks. This application allows you to write several documents, save it as a uh, document for Word, and also uh, save it in iCloud. You can also make newsletters, newspapers, etc. Afterwards it's Keynote. It allows you to make PowerPoint applications. You can also save it as a PowerPoint file, save the presentations on iCloud, as you can see here, I made a fishing presentation for school. So here you have the slideshows, you can make animations, graphs, etc. Second up would be Numbers. So Numbers is an application that allows you to make um, like Excel spreadsheets. So these are my monthly YouTube views. And you can tell here that I made a graph with a series of data. And you can adjust the colors of the graph, the legend, etc similar to Excel. Afterwards, it's ScreenFlow. This is an application that costs $100 on the Mac App Store. It allows you to make recordings of your screen and this is the software I'm using right now. And you can also choose to change the contrast levels afterwards and it also comes with a small editing program. Afterwards, it's the Mac App Store. You can download applications. This is standard on every Mac along with iTunes which, as I'm sure you all know, is for music, etc. Next up is Minecraft, the game. This is just a block building game. It's really popular. It costs, uh, I think it's around $23 right now. Next up would be Color Strokes. So I have a video on my channel with Color Strokes. This is basically a program that allows you to um, take any image. It makes it black and white. And as you can see here, it's my goldfish. You just color it in and it adds back color. It's a very interesting application. I believe it was around $1 on the Mac App Store. And it's pretty powerful. As you see, I'm doing a really bad job right now. But it's very useful and it's really easy to use and it's efficient. Next up would be Pixelmator. Pixelmator is a Photoshop app that pretty much allows me to make a stuff similar to Photoshop. It comes with magic brushes, uh, tools, smudges, shapes, layers, many effects, etc. It's very nice. Uh, next up would be Final Cut Pro. This is a video editing application. It costs, I think it's around $300 on the Mac App Store. It allows you to edit video. It's very demanding. I'm not too good at it. Uh, Handbrake, this is a video compression software that allows you to compress your videos into an mp4 format so it's easier to upload videos on YouTube. Next up would be iPhoto. This is the default Mac app that allows you to um, store your photos, organize, etc. Next up would be Unity. This is a video game application for designing. You can basically make um, games with this and then compile them for Windows, Mac, Linux, iPhone, and iPad. As you can see, okay, it says that there's some compiler error. But pretty much this application allows you to make video games in C Sharp. Next up would be Eclipse. This is an ID for Java. If it would load, you, you can basically program in Java using this application, compile applications, and it's just an ID as you can see here. This is my battleship game, etc. So it's a very nice program. It's Retina optimized. Alright, next up would be Xcode. This is just a development software from Apple. 
This application is free along with Eclipse, Unity, Handbrake, etc. You can pretty much make any program using these applications. So we can run this. It runs on the simulator, which comes with Xcode, which is very neat. As you can see here, the next icon is the iOS simulator. It sometimes it lags and crashes, but generally it's running fine. So as you see here, Bunny OS Mobile, username, password, and then login to Bunny OS. Alright, Xcode uses Objective C if you guys know what it is. Next up would be Parallels Desktop. This allows me to run Windows XP, Ubuntu, pretty much any other operating system or virtual machine at the same time as as Mac OS X. I have some videos on this also. It's a very nice software. It's around eighty dollars on the uh, Mac App Store. Uh, not on the App Store, but from the Apple Store. Next up would be FaceTime, which is a standard Apple application, along with iMessage. You send messages to other people. Microsoft Windows Live Messenger, which I don't really use. Uh, this is Skype, I like to chat with people via IP. An Activity Monitor, which is the default app that tells me what applications are running, I can quit process, etc. And that's about it. Thank you for watching this video and have a nice day.